Welcome to another edition of Six Pack Cinema. This week we got a treat for you. Our boy Sheehan is coming back. Yep, I'm back, guys. How was your paternity leave? Paternity leave was actually awesome. I, it was. It wasn't as bad as I thought. You know, having the kid and not doing anything. Going back to work this week with the kid and everything else—it was a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. It, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, cause I would I would sleep literally whenever I wanted to, cause the baby sleeps all the time, mm-hmm. but never, it's like, oh, well, you have to, the baby has to feed every two hours, the baby sleeps 20 out of 24 hours, yeah, but that's like sporadically like shuffled everywhere, mm-hmm. so as long as you're loose with your schedule, it's totally fine, but when you have to like get up at at 6.37 and go to work and not come home until 6, it just, your life turns upside down, Those when you sleep for six hours through the night, but you have to wake up. And it's broken up into like hour, hour and a half segments. You you haven't fucking slept. Yeah. It just you just haven't. I I gotta admit something here, dude. I'm actually a little happy you're telling me this because the pictures you were sending Jimmy and I, wow, like the first week when you were just at home watching TV the entire time, I was like, this motherfucker, this sounds great. I need to pop me out one of these. Yeah. It was a great time, man. <laughs> But it, uh, it's good to know it gets shitty. This is my yeah. birth control. You telling me how bad your life is. It's not. It's not that bad. It's just not that great either. Um, <laughs> though I think the worst. I think the worst part though is going back to work. Is <laughs> I, I work in a. My office has about sixty people, and every morning, every fucking morning, somebody walks by my desk. Sixty people walk by my desk and say, "Hey, oh, how you sleeping, Big Daddy? Hey, you getting much sleep, Dad? Hey, so, uh, yeah, man, I'm fucking tired. You can see the bags under my eyes. Oh yeah." That it's, first it's, picture you sent, or that you posted, or something, I was like, "You have literally aged ten years and seven days." Oh, that days. that video with me holding her. Yeah. Yeah, Shannon recorded that like right before, and she's like, "You don't look good." <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "Well, thanks. I just posted it." Yeah. Oh well. Hey, let's talk about Chappaquiddick. Yep, that's right. This week we are talking Chappaquiddick. Uh, we'll do some light comparisons between Sheehan and the father of the Kennedys. What? <laughs> Because they seem to be uh, pretty pretty similar people, I'd say. Horrible all around. That sounds pretty fucking offensive, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just fucking with dive, you, man. I'm fucking I can't wait to you. dive into that one. Uh, <laughs> what, what did you think of Chappaquiddick? I, I loved it. Um, I, I think I, I said it on the, on the Instagram account. Follow that one, guys. At Six Pack Cinema. That uh, I'm a homer. And I, I usually love anything to do with Boston or Massachusetts. And this one, the story of the Kennedys and, and, and Chappaquiddick, the, the whole brushed under the, the carpet story of her him literally letting some woman die. It's it's talked about, but it's not really, like, talked about, you know? So that yeah. having the movie out there, it's stunning. And it was interesting. I loved it. It has flaws, though. It has some pretty substantial flaws that we'll get into. But thumbs up from Sheehan. All right, fair enough. Uh, yeah, no, I'm. I like history, especially U.S. history, and I knew kind of just the baseline story. I knew it was just he had let a woman die, and it was kind of brushed under the rug. So I, I really enjoyed it. I, I don't know how accurate it is. We'll get into that too. But for a dramatized version of the events, I was paying t- attention 100% of the time. I was locked in. There was never any point where I was like, "All right, this needs to wrap up." Yeah, so thumbs up from me too. Mm-hmm. Hashtag me too. <laughs> I don't think that's what that the movement's about. Doesn't apply here. But me too. Shout out. Sponsor Her. the pod. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you um, missed this, dude. <laughs> All right. Like, you, you just brought up how accurate it is. Uh, yeah. you, the, the thing is, there are so many accounts of the story. You, we Nobody knows what actually happened. Yeah. But we know the gist of it. Well, we know, we know the result like, is we know the result, and that is the girl was dead in the car, upside down, tossed over the bridge, and Ted didn't report it for twelve hours or so. Twelve, yeah, nine, I think. Nine, but a, what a I, fair amount of time. Yes, what I liked though is they after the car like flipped off the bridge, they cut to him already on the beach. Mm-hmm. So I like that they left it ambiguous whether he actually tried to help her or not. See that's that's one of my big issues. Um, they they address a lot of shit going on, like a lot of the questions. They gla- they just kind of glaze over the fact that yeah, these two were fucking. They were absolutely fucking. Oh yeah. They hinted at it. They they they, they hinted in one of the, like the flashbacks he had. 
she there was on like, the beach. We should go, and he was like, "No, no, no, not yet," and like pulled her towards him, and then it cut away. Yeah, so they hinted at it. They didn't. Mm. Explicit, that that was well done because I mean, it's like we know, but no one said it. But what blows my mind is that they're trying to exp- explore, like tell the story and like why this was so messed up, and they didn't even bother to ask unless I missed it. How did Ted get out of a sealed car where one woman died when when she I... was when she was alive? The facts were she was alive for half an hour in the car. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think that's one of the things from what I understood from the actual event was something that was also up in the air. The car was sealed, but he was somehow out. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Would it he did, open the door and close it? Yeah. Physically, I mean, it's not like when, once, you, once you open the door of a car that's underwater, the, su- the suction's gone. The, yeah. it's, it's no longer like vacuum sealed. Yes. Which Unless is the, which there is was the issue. like... An open window, and she just couldn't find it. Like, buddy, if you're if you're if if you're uh, if you're fighting for your life for a half an hour in a smallish car or smaller space, you're gonna check each window. Fair, all right. I I gotta believe that. I'm just trying to get. I mean, yeah, she uh, she was stupid and couldn't get out. She died. Yeah, and and the the police chief the next morning couldn't get in there. They had to get a diver to get in. So it's, they, I I did not like how they didn't make a bigger deal out of that. He turned yeah. into fucking Houdini. But I mean, isn't that kind of accurate to real life too? Like, that was never the big talking point. Yes and no. I mean, ever, ever, people question like, well, if you got out, why didn't you help her? Well, yeah. Yeah. But... In my in my head, I like I was thinking, you know, maybe the the real story is, yeah, he was like blackout drunk, mm-hmm. and they were fighting along that road and. And then she got in the car to speed off without him. I don't know. Oh, maybe when they were like stopped for a second, and they're like in real life they had fought. Then yeah, she sped off. Something I don't know. And he was too drunk to realize that he wasn't in the car. I don't know, man. It's just, I mean, he wasn't drunk. He was he was a notorious alcoholic at the younger part of his life. I was gonna say not later in life. No, I mean he, he enjoyed a few drinks, of course, being he's a good Irishman, but. Oh, for sure. I mean, what I mean in the '60s. If you're Irish he, Catholic and you're not drinking, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, but I mean, in the '60s, he, he, his two brothers were assassinated. He, the 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 family favorite died a, a war hero, and your motherfucker of a father was breathing down your neck, saying that you were a failure. You're gonna toss a few back. <laughs> All right. Well, great segue there. Let's talk about his great father. Yeah. Pretty much you incarnate. Um. <laughs> Okay. No. Yeah, we we both I, slur our words a bit, and I can't you can't understand because I mumble, but I'm not that bad. Yeah, and I, I assume you'll tell your kids that they'll never be great. <laughs> I did love that line. Um, it says you can choose a serious life or a not serious life, and I'll love you just the same. But if you choose a not serious life, I won't have time for you. Yeah, or I'll have significantly less time for yeah, you. Yeah, I was like that. That is cold hearted i loved it but that was like so brutally honest i yeah. I, I loved it i was like you know what i'm on uh, i'm on papa kennedy's side there i mean because you can you can do anything you want but as long as you take it seriously yeah i mean you could become a podcaster or go into comedy but and isn't that that could be a serious life as long as you take it seriously oh yeah but if you just be like oh i'm a kennedy i don't want to do anything i'm just gonna drink and uh, use my dad's money then yeah i got no time for you although to be fair he's the fourth son so yeah. I feel like he had, like, growing up, the expectations of him were never, like, big until Bobby died. No, but I don't buy that. I don't think he was ever expecting to just, like, you know, breeze by. I mean, he's a Kennedy. Well, he yeah, was, but I, he I was, think he, he was, was like, he was two a of fucking... my brothers will be president, and I'll just be a senator, and, like, we'll have a great just family be a, Just be a senator. Casual, you know. Well, I'll, be Kennedy, the, I'll be the youngest whip in, in Senate history. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, real underachiever. <laughs> well, according to the dad. Yeah. Ah, uh, he was. What? How did you feel about their like interactions when like he when the dad slapped him and all that though? Oh, I was hoping he'd slap him back. <laughs> 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 I would have slapped him back. Yeah. Just not out of being mean, but just said that's like a, a knee jerk reaction. You slap me, I'm slapping you. Whoever you are, boy, girl, kid, old man, I'm slapping you back. I loved that scene. Because it it was, I don't know. It the, the leading up to that point, the the father was just like a, a basically an invalid. Is that the right word? 
He yeah. was he was completely completely like useless and for the most part he could like mumble one or two words and like alibi, write stuff yeah. down. So you could actually see that he was with it and he was actually using his words, and he could slap somebody. So I, I like that that actually showed him as a much more powerful powerful man than he let on because he was a seriously powerful man. Did you did you know his whole backstory? Like oh yeah, he was? as a bootlegger and all that. Yeah, but he was an ambassador to England. Oh, I didn't know he was an ambassador to England. I, I, think I know he, was he an had heavy t- or he had. Heavy ties into the mafia. Oh well, that's where he made all his money. But uh, yeah. he 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 got his power from being the uh, ambassador. That's ridiculous. That's how he got his crew of men around him. <laughs> yes, I I love that scene when like Ted was trying to tell his dad like, "Don't worry about it." Like, we're gonna oh, yeah. handle this. And then he walks into the room and it's all his father's men. He's like, "Oh yeah, I'd rather use my guys." <laughs> and they're like, "Buddy, you don't know what you're in for." Yeah, you have you no have idea. No how idea. Bad this is. You're fighting one battle. You're in three fights. <laughs> yeah. How do you think this movie's gonna impact the perception of Kennedy? Because when he he passed away, he is dead, right? Dead yes. a couple years ago. Yep. Um, he was Both like five. hailed as like a hero, and like like they mentioned at the end, he was the lion of the Senate. He's a great guy. He was yeah. a great. He, he was accomplished a great man. amazing things. But do you think this is gonna throw a little bit of a stain on that? How people remember him? No. I don't. The movie pissed me off a little bit because uh, who directed John Curran? I don't even know who he is. I recognize the name, but I have no idea who he is. Yeah, I don't like him now. I <laughs> think that this was a hatchet job to the Kennedys. He he may have ties to the to the girl who died because um, it wasn't it wasn't like they were uh, attacking him for for killing the girl. It, it was it didn't make him look bad that way. It made him look like a complete imbecile. Yes. They they played him up to be a child, mm-hmm. and I hated that. When, when he was, it like, was flying the kite, still smiling the next right? day. Right, I mean, that or, like was, he turned off the news so he could watch cartoons. That's that's the movie. That's the scene that got me. He's sitting there in his childhood room, surrounded by toys, playing with a football in a, like a tucked in polo shirt, and he just tur- turns on cartoons. And his dad comes in to talk to him. Like the man was a fucking senator, man. I mean, he was. He was not a child. He he yeah. actually made some like legitimate good decisions, and he did a lot for the state of Massachusetts. So, um, yeah, he fucked up a couple times. Sure, I don't yeah, think he was, killed I, someone. I, you know, I thought that was kind of a low blow. I thought that was cheap shots. Yeah, fair, fair. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think this is it's going to be a little bit of a stain. Like if this movie really takes off and people see it, just because I feel like unless you're from Massachusetts, like you or interested in american history like me most people don't know this part about him well because we're too young a lot of like the younger generation like just hailed him as a hero without actually knowing anything about him and i could see people and people are so fickle nowadays i could see them watching this and being like oh so he was horrible because everything's either the best or it's the worst and so they'll see this and see like his mistakes and be like well he was the worst then well i mean uh you, you could take that right you could say that but I'll, I'll defend him in saying that you know this. It was a terrible accident, and it was an accident. Yeah, no, I mean I, it was I a, agree with you. It was a shit and situation. In real life, like that makes sense, but people don't live in the real world anymore. No, I know, it, but it, it was a shit situation that was blown out of proportion. Not, uh, not out of proportion. It was blown up uh, because they were trying to make it to a chess match to try to get out of it. Yes. In reality, if he was just like hand up, guys, had a little bit too much to drink. It's 1967, guys. There's really no drunk uh, drunk driving laws yet. I was kind of in the I was in the clear, but I fucked up by not telling people right away. It's like, yeah, that's a that's a solid mistake. He could have even lied about the not drinking, and if he had just reported it right away and be like, I lost control and it flipped and I couldn't get her out. Yeah. Boom. Accidents happen all the time. People die in car accidents all the time. Especially back then. Cause yeah. I feel like half the cars didn't even have seatbelts. Yeah, you're driving on an island, man. You're gonna find water somehow. <laughs> that's a- Great quote. <laughs> Words to live by. There, you're on an island. You're gonna find water somehow. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't see this as, as. I mean, this was. Yeah, granted, I kind of knew about the story, but uh, a much younger generation where it just it didn't bother me. I mean, he, he went on to do a lot of great stuff. He oh, went yeah. on to, to do a lot of kind of shady shit too. Because hey, he's politicians. You don't spend forty years in politics and not get dirty. Well, all right. Let's let's talk about the the shady shit then. Okay. Because how do you feel about the Kennedy family as a whole? Royal. Royal? Royal. I love them. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess you are a mass hole. Um, what? I mean, they did some great things. No, no, no. That that's It was funny. Oh, when I was leaving the theater, my girlfriend and I were talking about it, and I was like, you know, I, I feel like they were 
a necessary evil. They were con- they were connected to crime. Well, evil is like a strong word, but that's yeah. just like the words I happen to use because they're like clearly connected to crime. Would like bribe people to get into office initially. Originally, like, first, sure. Well, but then yeah, they yeah, yeah. but they they fought for great values and great principles, and they always had like a good goal for the country. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, I'm willing to put up with all their shady shit they did because they're always trying to benefit the country. I mean, I'll yeah, no, they did a lot of good stuff, and um, there was. After the four brothers, you know, the Joe, Joe, John, Ted, and uh, Rob or Bobby, they all had fifty-five thousand fucking kids. So the Kennedy yeah. family literally just fucking exploded. Okay. One of one of one of the nephews, I think it was Joe. Ju- I don't know what the fuck his name was, but there was a Joe in there, and he literally walked around Massachusetts handing out free oil to poor people. <laughs> he, he just drove around. Right. A, he drove around in a truck, an oil truck, and just like plugged into poor people's houses. That's Kennedys, kind of great. Kennedy's. Uh, low key, the best Kennedy, Arnold Schwarzenegger. People forget he's he was mar- by marriage into the Kennedy family. Oh, that's right. No, 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 no. Low key, the best Kennedy by marriage or by- no? You're wrong if you say anyone other than Schwarzenegger. Taylor fucking I'm just Swift. I'm gonna keep fucking yelling over you until you admit it's Schwarzenegger. Taylor Swift. Well, the screw just fell out of my chair, so I might fall down at some point. Did you not hear me, Taylor Swift? Yeah, no. I she's not better than Schwarzenegger. Oh, well, it's debatable. Okay, well, we'll get on from that. The The Kennedy family is, is gigantic. Yeah, they get some bad eggs. They had some pretty bad stories. But, I mean, they're exciting. <laughs> they're True. a good... Pre- they're, they, you dive into the Wikipedia page of the Kennedy family, and you are just striking gold left and right. Oh, yeah. Entertainment value through the roof. That's like America's actual royal family. I yeah, exactly. Would you, would you rather have a Kennedy uh, in the office or a, a Bush? Kennedy. Thank you. Okay. How about what's another? Um, that's Ro- Roosevelt. Roosevelt probably, is, but they're a smaller family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even the Clintons, though, I'd, I'd rather have. No, Kennedy. Yeah, Kennedy. And yeah, the, w- w- one thing I, I was thinking about too is yeah, these guys were corrupt. They were. I won't even. I won't say corrupt really because they weren't like really trying to be bad. They were just like they trying were to just keep their jobs when they were yeah getting into it, and then they were just power hungry. I'll say they were crooked, not corrupt. Okay. I, I they're they're bending, not breaking the rules, because they were they were just trying to stay in office. That's what their their main goal was. Mm-hmm. They wanted to they wanted to have a little party on the weekends, do a little fucking around the, the side of the house. Uh, but they wanted to go back in office and do some things for people. Yeah. So fine. Yeah, they they like to party hard. Saturdays yeah. for the Kennedys. <laughs> I love that scene too, where finally Ted Kennedy like is standing up to the advisors, and he was like screaming at them, being like, the Kennedys, we need to run, r- or remind the people the Kennedys have a moral compass, and we'll follow it and be true. At, like, that moment, I was getting goosebumps. I was like, fuck yeah, we need another Kennedy president. Yeah, let's go. We need a, that good old-fashioned, red-blooded American family. Back. Oh, yeah. Back. Yeah. But so what I was going to say, my original point was that, yeah, po- politics, they've always been driven by corrupt money from the start. It's just they were better at it back then. Because mm-hmm. if the difference was, the the father was was the bad guy, who got his sons elected. Now, the guys who are bad guys are just trying to get elected. And hashtag succeeding. hashtag Trump. Shout out sponsor the spot the, the pod. I couldn't yeah. even talk. There we go. Good <laughs> okay. good job. All right, let's let's Crush let's break in. away from politics. Let's talk about right. real hard yeah, hitting issues. Get some hate mail about real that. hard hitting the accents. Oh, they the, the, were fantastically horrible. Ah. Uh, Yes and no. Jason Clark crushed it. Oh yeah, J- all right. Jason before Clark. Before we get into before we get into accents, we need to talk about Jason Clark because the they want. I want to. I want to give had, him a mid. I want to give him a midterm Oscar. I think we oh, need yeah. to create that. Between Mudbound, second half of last year, and this now, that man just for those two movies alone needs an Oscar. He was born to play Ted Kennedy. Yeah. He, Have you the, seen the, pictures of Ted when he was younger? Oh yeah, they were. Identical. It is Jason Clark. I remember for like the first 10 minutes, I was like, is Jason Clark related to the Kennedys? Because he just has that old school, all American values look about him. Yep. And he had that, he had the, um, it wasn't, it's not, it's not a Boston accent. It's a Kennedy accent. They had their own way of talking. Oh yeah. It It was was a slightly inebriated, slightly casual, you know, mouthful of, uh, you know, peanuts. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, and, and, and everything was punctuated. Every third word, bam. Yeah, that's how you talk like a Kennedy, and he nailed it. 
He was yeah. He was fantastic. Well, I felt everyone in the movie acting mm. was fantastic, but the accents. Ed Helms. Get back to Ooh, that. Bad. I and Ooh. I liked him in the movie, but his accent was just all over the spot. If he, I don't. I think if he, he had picked one accent and stuck with it. I don't think he need to do accents. I mean, yeah. If Jason Clark, yeah, he needed to because Kennedy, Kennedy has that. Yeah, but yeah. the people who surround himself, they, like, just don't talk push in it. your regular fucking. Voice. I don't need Ed Helms at the very beginning to to whisper to himself, "Go socks." Like that's just fucking terrible. I, it was I so bad. I mean, though, I was like, "Oh, Ed Helms is going to be the pushover of this Go movie." Go socks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it was fading in and out. Uh, he, he, for the most part, caught him, mm-hmm. but no, it's back then. It the difference in accents is if you're a degenerate like Bostonian, uh, like guy from Quincy, you you drop the R's at the end of the uh, end of the words, okay? Yeah. But if you're the classy kind of Bostonian, you you drop the R's in the middle of the words, but you keep the ones at the end, like forty five, okay? You just dr- completely forget the middle R's. And they did that. Mm-hmm. But Jason Cl- I mean, Ed Helms did not. Yeah. He, he he started dropping the, the back end. See, He's the like, thing, someone like, get I, the I car. I think Ed Helms <laughs> needed an accent just because he was clearly like the secondary character uh, to yeah. Clark. And they had mentioned how they grew up together and spent so much time together. I think it doesn't work if he didn't have any accent because yeah. if they grew up together, you need to kind of sound alike. Yeah, but they made a it's point saying he's not up. a Kennedy. They needed a better vocal coach. Yeah. I, which is a shame because he, he was so good. Yeah. If you if, if you remove the uh, accents from him, it, he played a very strong role. Yeah. Um. Actually, it, he had me feeling at the very end. I oh, know. when he's holding the fucking... I, I know. he Ted Kennedy died a senator. I know this. But in that mo- moment, I was like, fuck, is he going to resign? Yeah, like, I didn't know. I was like, "Do I not know that he resigned and came back? What, what's going on?" Oh, that's what I thought. I was like, "Maybe he did resign for like five years or something, and then came back." Yeah, and he just didn't. And the look on Ed Helms' face when he's like, "I'm putting it up to the people instead of reading the resignation," I was like, "Oof." Yeah, fuck, my heart it, like was going out to him. Yeah, that that wasn't the moment where he said he was going to basically die, like cut mm-hmm. him out of his life. It was when he's he's like, "Yeah." Joe Joey can do it. Joey can be a good cue card holder. Oh, it's like, fuck. oh, be more, be more disrespectful, man. Seriously, because that was like the one guy who was like, no, the Kennedys do stand for something, and even if we fucked up, we should hold true to our values. Yeah, he was. And that was such a shitty moment. Face. Such a shitty moment. Yeah, that was fucked. Hmm. All right. How about Jim Moving. Gaffigan? Low, low key in there. High key actor. I thought he was great. Yeah, I, I, I saw his name in the beginning when they were like li- listing all the names. And I was like, "Fuck." Yeah. And, like I hadn't seen him in anything in so long. I was like, "This is gonna take me out of it." I kind of chuckled. And then it took like, me like two scenes of him being in it before I was like, "Oh shit, that is Jim Gaffigan." I was expecting to hear a stupid little like ah, pockets, like <laughs> caliente pockets. <Yeah. laughs> he was great. He had he probably had seventeen lines, but he crushed them all. Oh yeah. And just his, like, expressions in the background of scenes where he was just, like, clearly fed up with the whole situation. But he's like, I'm just doing what they tell me. I want to get yeah. through this. Yeah, that, uh, actually, he was perfect because he was a Ted Kennedy guy. And the the whole time, uh, his father's crew was making making it sure, making it known that Ted Kennedy's crew was the D-level crew. Yes. And Jim but Gaffigan fit right into that. He absolutely did, but I, I love the scene where, like, the Father Kennedy's uh, crew were like, all right, no, you're with us. Like, you handle this. And he was like, me? Oh, shit. Like, it was like, oh, man, I'm, I'm in the big leagues now. I got call up to the majors. <laughs> yeah. How did this happen? <laughs> I imagine that look on his face is going to be the same look Tebow has when the Mets call him up to play for them. Yeah, pretty much exactly like that. Just clearly, like, way out of his league being like, I'm, I'm just going to fake it till I make it. <laughs> So I feel like we got to do a shout out to Jimmy who couldn't make this episode. There was some great focal racking in this movie. I noticed there, it a few times. When I notice it, when I pick up on focal racking, you know it's it's something good. Oh yeah, for sure. When when uh, 
Ted was watching the moon landing with his family, and mm-hmm. it just shifted from them all, so you only saw Ted's face. I was like, oh, Jimmy yep. would love this moment. Yeah, or, or how about the uh, the casket scene when he's um, visiting Mary Jo in her casket of the wake? Mm-hmm. It's like it comes up on the casket, and then it shows Mary Jo's face, but it's blurry. I'm like, oh, God, they, it's a blurry face. But, like, oh, no, it's focusing on his hand. And then it goes to her face, very dramatic. Oh, yeah. Very well done. It was some high-end focal racking. Mm-hmm. Production value <laughs> through the roof. Just on those two scenes alone. Yep. <laughs> All right. I mean, I, any... I'm disappointed Jimmy's not here because I know he's a big history guy. Oh, yeah. He, he would have really liked this. I he would have loved this it. movie. Um, one more thing I want to talk about before we give our rankings and all that. Okay. How was the audience when you saw this? Older crowd. Oh, yeah. My girlfriend and I, we were the youngest people in there by at least 30 years. I'd say that's pretty accurate, yep. Yeah. I, I was very surprised. Like at the end, of, at first, like before the movie started, I was looking. Around, I was like, everyone right by me kind of looks old. And then at the end, when I was walking out, I looked at like everybody who had been in the theater. And I was like, oh, everybody is old, <laughs> and like very much so. The, I could the, hear like old people talking around me, being like, oh, I remember when he like gave that speech and stuff. And I was like, well, fuck. <laughs> yeah, the the girl behind me, um, she was just enamored with the whole like surroundings. She was like, oh. My my nana had that f- same fucking phone. Oh, look at that phone. We we we're, we grew up on that phone. She uh, so many comments on the phone. The doilies in the room. <laughs> oh my god. She she loved the wallpaper in in uh, in Ted Kennedy's room. She was in, she was entertaining. Usually oh, right. usually people bother me when they talk behind me. I I, I kind of like their commentary. Oh yeah. Oh well, another quick quick point. Um, before I forget, it's gonna fleet my mind. I was thrown for a loop when they said that uh, the car belonged to Edward Kennedy. Yeah, who the... I've, oh, I forget Ted is, like, short for Edward. It's bullshit. It is. Ted is short for Theodore. I think his name is Edward. It is. Why do we yeah. call him Ted? I don't, I don't fucking know. They're your royal family. Yeah, and, and John Kennedy's going to call him Jack. And then Edward Kennedy call him Ted. Just call me your fucking names. Or, or, or name them Ted and Jack. I don't know. I'm going to name my kids names and just not refuse to call them that, like, the entire time. I would just call them, like, I have a kid named, like, Don, and I'll be like, hey, it's Billy Bob. Hey, yeah, you're, hey, you're David Goodman. Yeah, we're going to call you Dennis. Thanks for throwing my full <laughs> government out there. Fuck. It's your, all, like, twi- it's your Twitter handle. Our listeners. It's your Twitter handle. Shut up. <laughs> Blow me. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to our rankings, then, unless you have anything else. Um... I don't think I do. All right. So, let's start with popcorn. Let's mix it up this week. Popcorn. What are you giving it? Not five. Oh shit. Four and a half. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> I uh, I'm giving it a four. I I liked it, but I feel like this movie was tailor made to you and I, like yeah. people who love American history. Yeah. So, my my I I, I docked it up a uh, couple uh, half popcorn because. Yeah, it, was just, uh, it, it bothered me how they didn't. Accent? No, it, it bothered me how they didn't uh, go after the whole like, why the fuck didn't he go into the, uh, what, why, why the the car was sealed and he got out. To be fair, playing devil's advocate here, it was already like a two hour movie. I don't think you could like devote an extra like fifteen minutes to that. At that I, point, I would have been like, the movie's going on too long. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh wait, you know what? We I do what we didn't <laughs> really even address. Wait, wait, we didn't address this at all. One of the most important things of the whole saga was the neck brace. That's oh the thing gosh. that everyone remembers is the neck brace. For one day. <laughs> For one day. And the Ed Helms and Ted going at it and fucking wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Wrestling us the, the 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 senator to the ground and ripping it off and he's like, It's mine, it's a real thing. And then well, he, I, he was like I, and then I he puts it, it back on Puts it back on. And he says, "What do you, what do you guys think?" They all laugh. His face like, "I don't need you guys. I'm doing it anyways." Like, <laughs> and then the next day, he's like, "I see it was a mistake." Now, <laughs> oh god, what a stupid decision that was. Like that was he was I, he may have been concussed because if he thought that was gonna play, seriously. I mean, he might have actually been concussed. He probably you know? was, man. He probably definitely was. Yeah. Anyways, I need to throw that in there. All right, let's go critical rating. Sorry. All right, critical rating. I'll go first. I'm yep. gonna give it a. 78%. Oh, cool. I think it's it's very good movie. It was very well made. The story was interesting, but not, like, crazy engaging. There was just, like, a couple of minor things that we could, like, 
nitpick the hell out of it that brought it down for me. Yep. Which, like, the accents and all that. Um, but, yeah, it, it just – I feel like it didn't wow me enough to really go above the C-plus range for me. Yeah, I agree. Um, uh, it's It basically told the story of, of the he said, she said, but they didn't really – and 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 they also – they. They made it very presumptuous of what they thought happened, but they didn't go the full length and give you an actual like way it happened. Real explanation, yeah. They, I mean, we nobody knows what actually happened, but they didn't. They, they they tiptoed around it and they didn't go all in. They they if they went all in, I would have been happy about it. Whether it was a lie or not, I mean, it's a movie. We know it's Ser- based yeah, on. Seriously, it felt like they wanted to go out like with a hard. This is what really happened, and then the, at the last second, they got like too afraid to do that. Yeah, so um, I gave it a 76. Oh, shit. So 77? Yeah, yeah I did it because I felt like, you know, it's, uh, 76 is a good American number. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you are going to watch it again, what are you going to drink with it while you're watching? Oh, it's going to be uh, whisk- uh, uh, scotch with a splash of rocks. Oh, Fuck, I, had whi- I said that wrong. I had whiskey on the rocks. God damn it, I said splash preferably, of rocks. Uh, preferably drunk while in the car. I meant to say <laughs> splash of water. <laughs> Fucking splash well, of rocks. Who's fucking splash, splash of rocks. All right, a <sighs> splash of rocks in your scotch. Whiskey with splash of rocks. That's going to be a good drink. <laughs> All right. Fuck me. Okay. <laughs> well, well, we'll blame it on the baby brain. Yeah, I'm a noodle. Okay. Um, That that wraps up our review of Chappaquiddick. Let's hop into our weekly recommendations. You have a ton of free time now. You're not doing much. What have you been watching, Sheehan? I actually just plowed through the first season of Timeless. Have you heard of that? I don't even know what that is. I recognize the name, but yeah. I don't know what it is. It uh, goes along with this this uh, movie because it's uh, it's history based. It's um, chasing a, a that, that some guy creates a rich man creates a time machine, and it gets stolen by a terrorist. Huh. And so they, there's two time machines, and they're, they're chasing this guy through who's trying to change history. Oh, like he saved the Hindenburg from blowing up. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's a cool where, concept. Where is it on like Amazon or Netflix? Uh, Hulu. Or Hulu. I might give it a watch. There's so much fucking TV right now, so I don't know if I will get to it. But in the give summer, it. when I like shows are done, uh, I I'm the same way. I have way too much to watch, but I, um, I watched the first episode and it it hooked me so hard. Yeah, yeah. I I, I recommend just, just watch the first episode, dabble in, see if you're gonna like it. And uh, yeah, there's only in the whole series, there's only like 15 episodes or 17 episodes so far. So, uh, is it still on the air? Or is it yes. Done? Yeah, this oh, is uh, okay. we're we're in season two right now on air. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Anything else? No. All right. I have been, I meant to mention it last week and I completely spaced, but Legion is back and I've been watching season two of Legion and mm-hmm. it's just far and away the best Marvel anything, movies, TV this show really- out there. It's so smart, so trippy. If you, like, even if you're not big on superheroes, it's worth checking out because it's not like a bunch of powers fighting, like... For an example, in a recent episode, two psychics had to fight, and it was visualized through a dance battle, which was amazing. I'm not sure you sold man people that way. That sounds slightly ridiculous. It's incredible, and uh, Aubrey Plaza plays just the most wild role. I'm like hmm. holding back a lot of details because I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, I, I haven't but- seen it. I w- it was on my list of things to watch like last year. I was really high on it, but then I found out I didn't have FX. But uh-huh. now I do. So I need to go back yes. and watch it. The first season is on something too. I think, I think it's on the man. Hulu. Probably. Yeah, it, it's a hundred percent worth going back to. I like it's hard to talk about without spoiling things because it's very much you don't okay. know what's real and what's not until like the last couple episodes of the first season. Because for those of you who don't know, Legion is about an X Men character called David Holler, who is like the strongest mutant of all time. He can create realities, but he also is schizophrenic so he has multiple personalities hmm. and like i didn't know that at least in the comics it hasn't happened in the show yet but each of his personalities can develop their own powers as well interesting yeah and he's professor x's son no shit yep well this is just a whole lot of information you're throwing out here oh yeah absolutely it's worth going to check out nice all right well, that wraps up this week's episode of Six Pack Cinema. We'll be coming at you soon with some more mini episodes for the Terror, which yep. Sheehan has been watching as well, even though he hasn't been able to join. But hopefully, he'll be in in the next couple. Yeah. And we'll see you guys soon. 
Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna be watching Fuck. Super Troopers next week. Oh yes, we are watching Super Troopers next week. Heads up, Jimmy, we're watching that. As yep. you edit this and find that out. Sounds so, good. we'll see you guys for our, fresh, our special 420 episode. Beautiful. Love y'all.